Hi, my name's Dan Gutman. I'm a children's book author. And I wish I could come visit your school personally, but that's impossible. So I hope you'll enjoy this little video author visit with me coming to your school on the TV screen. Now, let's see, what grade is this? Uh, first, second, third grade? The best grade, right? Hey, you know what my favorite book was when I was your age? Didn't have one. Because when I was your age, I was one of the kids who hated to read. It's true. I thought reading was really boring and hard to do. And my mother was really worried about me. And she used to buy me comic books, hoping it would get me interested in reading. Well, it didn't work. And it wasn't until I was in about fourth grade or so that I became a big sports fan. A lot of sports fans here? Oh yeah. I became a big sports fan and suddenly I wanted to know everything about sports. So I had to read about it. And I started reading books about my favorite athletes. And that's what got me interested in reading. And my mother was amazed when I grew up and became a professional writer writing mostly about sports. But you know, I don't just write about sports. Are any of you familiar with my My Weird School series? Oh, can I tell you a little bit about the series? Well, I wanted to write about a kid like me, you know, a kid who didn't like to read so much. And I decided to name the kid AJ because my son Sam had a friend named AJ. And I started to think about AJ and his school, and I decided to name his school Elementary School. It's named after a woman named Ella Mentry. And I thought about AJ and the school and his teacher. And his teacher, I decided to name his teacher Miss Daisy. And I'll tell you why. There's this old rock and roll song that starts like this. Wah bop, baloo bop, balop, bam, boom. You know the song? It's called Tutti Fruity. And it goes, Tutti Fruity, all Rudy. Tutti Fruity, all Rudy. Had a gal named Daisy. She almost drove me crazy. Right. So I decided to name the teacher Miss Daisy and call the book Miss Daisy is Crazy. This is the system that I use to write my books. Some authors, they just sit at their computer and start typing into a blank screen. They must be geniuses. I can't write that way. I've got to plan my whole story out from start to finish. And that's what I do with these cards. I start jotting down ideas. And once I have like 100, 200 cards, I'll start shuffling them around, changing the order, seeing if I could take these ideas and sort of weave them into a story that makes sense from start to finish. This is my outline for the book. So I'll spend about a month or so just outlining the whole story. And once it's finished, then I'll get out my computer and I'll type up the whole story. That takes about another month or so. Type, 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 type. And once it's finished, I think this thing is really perfect. But then I show it to my daughter, Emma, to read. She's 12 years old. And she'll often give me some suggestions to make the story better. So I'll take Emma's suggestions and I'll put them into the story. Type, 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 type. Then I'll show it to my son, Sam, to read. He's 17 years old, and he'll give me some suggestions to make it better. Now, I know a lot of kids in school, when you write something, you feel like it's done, and it's perfect, and I'm not changing a word. But professional writers write things over and over again until we make it as good as we possibly can. So when you're in school, and you write something, and your teacher puts corrections all over it and says, write it again, don't get mad, OK? Your teacher is just trying to make your writing better the same way my editor tries to make my writing better. So, I turned it into the publishing company, and you know what? They really liked it. And you know what they said to me? Make another one. So I thought, I know, I'll create a whole school filled with grown-ups who are crazy. So I thought, let's see, who should I do next? How about the school principal? What's your principal's name? Ah. Well, my principal's name is Mr. Klutz. So what's the book called? Mr. Klutz is Nuts. As you can see, all the titles rhyme. And there's a whole bunch more My Weird School books coming. I hope you'll read them all, because they're all silly and crazy and wacky, too. You might have some questions you want to ask me. And I can't come to your school to answer them. But I'll tell you what. Why don't you send me a class email, you know? Here's my website address right here. Can you see it on the bottom of the screen? It's www.dangutman.com. 
and there's a button there where, where you can click contact Dan and maybe the whole class can put together an email. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And uh, in the meantime, I wanted to thank you for reading my books and thanks for uh, listening to me talk today too. See you later.